boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in here it is Predator Hunting Grounds. This game it is developed by the Euphonic and it is using Unreal Engine 4. So as you can see let's start jump just right at the settings. So I'm going to play this game with median settings, that's right, median settings. And this game doesn't offer any options whatsoever aside from V-Sync, FOV slider and just the presets, low, median, high or epic and your resolution. So this game it is quite demanding, so it asks uh, for a minimum of uh, 960 and a recommended of a GTX 1660, so we are stuck in between these two and I have decided to go with the median settings for this game because unfortunately the difference between maximum settings and median settings graphically it is very small as you can see with the maximum settings I got an average of 55 with a 1% of 38 while the median settings what I got was an average of 64 with a 1% low of 45 so it's just a small difference between 5 to 10 frames per second between these three settings, the maximum, the high and the median, and honestly, all of them, they look very the same. There are almost no differences in visuals whatsoever, and that's the reason I decided to go with median settings, because this is a multiplayer game. This is where you want to have the maximum frame rate as possible. And I should, for that, I should go with the low settings with average of 76, with a 1% low of 55, but unfortunately the low settings looks really bad on this game, so my really big suggestion it is to select at least median settings. I know that it isn't really 60 frames per second all the time, and that's exactly what disappoints me, but uh, look at this, this looks really good even on median settings, alright? But the downside for me is that this game it is really demanding in my opinion. I don't see the reason why it is so demanding. I know there is jungle and shadows all over the place. But we are kind of, you know, I'm kind of adept to see this on gaming nowadays. And especially in CryEngine based games like for example the Ancient Evolve or the First Crisis. They also add this, including soft shadows at the time. And it isn't really as much demanding as this. Even on Star Wars Battlefront 2, there were very, very nice florists over there. And it wasn't really as much demanding as it is this. So this game it is really quite demanding. And this game it is also available on PS4 and PS4 Pro and also PC. This is uh, developed by the Euphonic. The Euphonics are the developers of the Friday the 3rd, the game. So these guys are kind of very adept to create multiplayer games um, for us. Although the publishers behind this game, it is Sony, so I was expecting this game to be an exclusive for the PS4 systems. But as far as I can see, it is also available on the PC by Epic Store. Unfortunately, this game costs €32.99, so it is not a step price. It is not a really high price in my opinion. I think it's a reasonable price. But uh, every time I play this game, I remember Evolve. I'm not really sure why. It feels like Evolve, but uh, reverted. For example, Evolve at the time, you were four players getting behind the monster, and the objective it was to kill the monster. But you needed to do it fast, because the more time that it gone by, the more stronger the monster would get. This one, it is a little bit different. This one in here, you are getting... Um, you are getting stalked by the predator and the objective from the predator it is to kill you so it is the exact opposite of the evolve and unfortunately evolve didn't really end up quite well the evolve team the the rock turtle studios i think it was the name uh, they just closed down the game because of lack of success but yeah they also were kind of very greedy the game was very expensive and they, it had a lot of DLCs but the core gameplay it was exactly the same as this game but completely the opposite and that's what I'm afraid of I'm not complaining about the dirty bucks that these guys ask for the game and I'm a little bit complaining about the performance that you get in this game, it is quite surprising how demanding it is. But I'm also complaining with the fact that if this game doesn't offer you too much stuff to do, too much new stuff to do, it will end up with no players to play. The only good thing, and this is a good thing I believe, is that you can play crossplay? You can crossplay with uh, players that are using uh, PS4 and PS4 Pro. So if you don't get users on the PC, you can also play against people on the PS4 systems. And usually consoles have more players than the PC, especially on these type of games. All right. 
So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Predator Hunting Grounds. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Shipping records indicate a recently purchased shipment is waiting for its buyer. Let's make sure they never get it.
some ammo. Ammo. Reloading. Oh. 